Hello guys and very welcome to my channel. Since the last video, when I did the capacity test on this module here, I had a lot of questions about which type of BMS you should use together with it. And I just have a small BMS here. It's a 12S lithium ion from Dali. This one is rated to 100 amps and you can charge the module at 50 amps. So it's maybe on the small side, but I have just bought this to try this out and see if it will work. And some of you guys just wonder where I have bought it from. So <laughs> I have bought it on AliExpress. I almost always buy from there. And as you might have found out there, it is not so easy to find the right BMS for it because mostly of them are rated for lithium phosphate battery. And we don't want that. We want lithium ion in a 12S version of this BMS. And uh, I wrote to them and asked if they have a BMS 12S version in lithium ion instead of lithium phosphate. And they <laughs> come back to me with a link to the same site that I was looking on from the beginning. But on that site it only says 12S lithium phosphate. So I pretty much just took a chance there and ordered one lithium phosphate, but I wrote in the comment section that I really would like this to be in lithium ion. I didn't hear anything from them. And after uh, I think it was seven days, it was shipped. And just after seven days, it was in my mailbox. So it was actually going pretty fast there. Uh, so when I open it up, voila, lithium ion, just what I have ordered. So you can go in there. I will put a link down in the description for you to that site where I ordered this one. Uh, you can go in there, place your order and write to them in that order that you want this BMS to lithium ion instead of lithium phosphate. It's very important. If you don't do that, you will have it in lithium phosphate. But anyway, if you have a BMS on lithium phosphate and it's a smart one, go into the menu and yeah, I can show you here. So here is a BMS that I just have hooked up to a 13S battery pack that I am planning to do a capacity test later on. And as you can see, it's fully charged. And uh, yeah, we have one cell here that is a little higher than the rest of it. I have done that on purpose so I can measure the balance current that this BMS will balance that cell with. Now we are going to take a look in the preference and then you will find your cell volt high and low and uh, everything. Uh, it's important that, that, that you have done all the settings here. If you have bought a lithium ion BMS from the factory, it will be pretty much fine to use right off the box, but you really need to check those so it will match your battery pack. But if you have a lithium phosphate BMS laying around, please go in there and take a look in the menu and it needs to be a smart one, of course, so you can hook it up to your phone. Take a look at this here. You can change this between lithium ion, lithium phosphate and also LTU cells. And when you're going to change this, for example, I do this now from lithium to uh, lithium phosphate. Let's do that. Now it's on lithium phosphate. So let's go back. Take a look at the numbers. Those are not for lithium phosphate. So you now need to do all the settings here before you connect it to your battery, because this is the way off for a lithium phosphate battery, right? But just to make sure, if you have a lithium phosphate battery, you can try this to change that to lithium ion. But of course, if you like the BMS with the right label on and everything, then you should order a lithium ion from the factory, of course. You have to keep in mind one thing here, guys, that I have not tried this myself because I only have lithium ion batteries. So if you guys have a lithium phosphate BMS laying around and you have a lithium ion pack, try this out. Leave a comment down in the comment section 
and let me know if it worked or not. I think it will work because you have all the settings for it inside of it, so I think so. So do I recommend this BMS to this module from Volkswagen ID3? Yes, I really do. The balance current that those BMSs from Dali uses is really low. That current is only around 40 milliamps. So it's really safe to use together with those modules. And I have a little system that are going right now. And I have hooked up my Fluke multimeter in series to that cell that was a little higher than the rest of them. And that BMS is right now trying to balance that cell. So let's see how many milliamps that BMS will draw from that cell. So <laughs> here's a little redneck setup again. Uh, this is uh, EAP battery cells. So I am planning to do a capacity test on those in another video. So right now it is fully charged and ready to start this test. But let's start up this. And here you can see the balance current. So it's not much at all. And the good thing is that it keeps on balancing all the time. It will not turn off. It has been this the whole night here, even if it's not charging. So even if this current is very low, finally, if you don't have any drift in your cells, you will be just fine and have a balanced pack. It will just take a little time there. But of course, you need to do all the initial balancing yourself there. So here is that pack that I have uh, put in series together with the, those modules here that I have charged a little higher than the rest of them. And I simply just have hooked up my probes here in series to this so I can measure the amp there. So not much at all. So I, I will bring up a picture here from uh, Dali's site at the specification. So this battery here, together with a 12S Dolly BMS with that low balance current, is highly recommended. And now you know where and how to buy it. And I am not sponsored or anything from that seller. So uh, just so you know, <laughs> I am just using this myself. Please share this video because I think that many people out there would like to know this information so we all can build easy and nice battery packs. That will be everything and I really hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!